Hey guys, welcome back. We're back on the tennis courts today. Uh, today we're gonna work on some middle triangle footwork for all you middles out there to get some reps in during this uh, quarantine. Uh, we've got a court set up here that I'll show you in just a second, but you know, in my opinion, triangle should be a middle's favorite shape. And so we're gonna show you a bunch of patterns you can do to work on your footwork, work on your speed, your acceleration, and that way when we get back on a court and the ball's introduced, we're gonna be just fine. So for the middles, guys, we have to set up the court, and I got a couple things going on here that I want to make sure I explain so that you got it. The cones that you'll see, that kind of you have a cone there and a cone over there, those cones are 30 feet apart. You'll notice just inside each cone, I've got a blue piece of tape. Now, as a middle, you're probably not going to, when you go block to the pin, you don't go all the way to the pin. So that blue piece of tape, you know, is a body width inside to signify that that's where you want to get on your block when we're blocking to the pins. The X right there kind of represents the setter, just to give you the target. We know the setter can move, but it helps a little bit so you have an idea of what to approach to. Back here, you'll notice we have a piece of tape that represents the 10 foot line and a cone. Really big that on your transitions from the pins, you take a good angle and a big first step. So that piece of tape kind of represents the 10 foot line, the coal pole, the 10 foot line and the cone represents the angle you should be taking back from the pin while blocking. We have Ash and Paul here today, who's gonna do some of this footwork for us and lead us through it. We again, staying safe, six feet apart. Uh, you know, let's have some fun. Uh, the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to block middle and work on transition footwork from there. Now you can either run all four A's in a row, B's in a row, etc., or you can alternate them. Ashlyn's going to work through all four so you see the variation. So she compresses, big first step off the net, watch her stomp that 10 foot line and run the A. Immediately transitions again, staying in tight, running the B. Transitions back, still keeping that foot down by the 10 foot line, running a C off one leg, and then staying wide and deep, running that slide. The next progression is a block to the opposite uh, against the other team's right side hitter with all four hits. So she compresses, good swing block, watch the angle coming back to this cone, gets the foot down and runs the A. Goes out again. Again, good quick last two steps on the block and runs the B. Back out now. Good angles of approach here. Notice how her foot got down by the 10 foot line on the C. Last one, and now the slide. The next one is we're gonna block outside and do the exact same thing. Um, notice how on the swing block, she really gets her right foot around, hey. running the A. They're in her transition. Big first step, still back at this angle as she's running all these routes. She gets back to the center. Positive first step on her block. Good run on the C. Last one for you. Big step off the net. Now watch how her feet drive at that slide and she maintains spacing off the net. For the next few series, we're not read blocking so much. We are going to be committing to the other team's middle and then moving out of that. So in the first one, we're committing to the other team's B. So Ashlyn compresses, shadows the B, a crossover step to get to the outside. Now she transitions and runs the A. She compresses again commits the other team's B, then crossover steps, and now runs a B. Now after she commits to the other team's B, she has to pause until she sees the set go to the outside and then crosses over. Again, notice the angle of her transitions getting off the net, coming right back at, towards us in the cone. The last one, she commits out. She's gonna run the slide one more time. Again, staying deep on that first step and closing. Little uh, tidbit here about visualization. You know, when you're doing these reps, we talk about shadowing the B. In your mind, you have to see that middle hitter coming at you, and then you have to see the set out of the setter's hand going to a pin, and you're gonna close to that. So like, as you become comfortable with the footwork, start visualizing what's going on in the game in front of you so that your body is moving with what you see happening in your mind. It'll make the reps that much more effective. We're working the same thing the other side now. We're shadowing maybe a team's A that gets uh, pushed back a little bit. So again, she's shadowing the A and then just using a crossover step to close the opposite hitter. Okay, big first step off the net. Ashlyn's doing a really good job of that. She's staying off the net in her approaches. Good crossover, coming back. These runs start getting a little more challenging now. She hits the slide, she's gotta get back to base. Shadows the A one more time, crossover. Now watch her good angle and run in that slide. 
The next two are the hardest two. We're still committing to the B, but then we're pretending we got beat and we got to get all the way to that pin. So we add a shuffle step to the slide footwork. So she shuffles to the B, shuffles, and then just goes. She still works hard on her transition. She's still got to make sure she gets a good angle off the net. Shuffle, her head should turn as she goes. Much better angle off, run the C. And then the last one where she again commits the B and goes hard to the outside. And now is going to come back, stay deep on that, run the slide. The last of these footworks is probably the one that happens the most to young middles. We're going to shadow to an A, realize we got beat and have to get all the way to the pin. Or transition back, good footwork there, quick last two steps. Or maybe we're just committed to that middle and then we got to close that outside. Runs the B here, good footwork. Shadow the A, shuffle, crossover. This last one, Ashlyn's going to make sure she gets her feet right on the slide. So she only takes those three big quick steps, transitions back. advice for these guys listen guys i got out here and i ran through these one time with coach and i'm really out of breath i've been working out but nothing really compared to what we did out here i think it's really important that we get out and do these because it's going to make us better it's going to make us better in the middle and we're going to get to run more middle as a result of what we're doing here middles this is a lot of work like working on the footwork getting the footwork right listen to the cues that we gave you um and, and try to work on your transitions your steps off look at the keys on the sheet um, this workout's going to take you a solid half an hour. Even if you do this twice a week and get out, um, it's going to help. And it may be at first where you just kind of go through one set of each, but the goal would be to build the three sets of each of the reps and have some fun.